Welcome to episode 8 of South Holston River Fly Shop Fly Tying Videos. I'm your host, Josh McFadden. Today we're going to be tying this sulfur nymph. Uh, it's intended to be a floating nymph that is uh, just about ready to hatch. It's going to be tied on a TMC 100 in a size 18. This is the barbless model. We're going to be using 70 denier yellow thread and UTC. We're going to be using some sulfur orange dry fly dubbing for the abdomen and the thorax. For the tails and the legs we're going to be using some mallard flank dyed lemon yellow mallard flank. And uh, for the wing case we're going to be using uh, a brown CDC feather pulled over and that's going to help keep our fly keep our fly sitting right in the film where it needs to be. It's a great pattern for any time that the, the, the fish are being really picky on the sulfurs. You can drop this fly in behind a dry fly and watch, watch your dry fly for takes. It's a, it's a really great pattern. Let's get to time. Alright guys, size 18 TMC100 in the vise. I'm going to start my yellow thread, 70 denier UTC in yellow. Run back about halfway with the thread layer. Trim that tag off. I don't want it getting in the way whenever I'm trying to tie in tail material. And bring it back here to right above where the barb would be. Okay. Now we're going to take some fibers off of a mallard flank feather. I'm going to try to put into focus here. Uh, just like that. We're going to just take five or six of these fibers in a clump and pull them off all at once and uh, this is going to be our tail get these tips lined up here measure I want them about half the shank length or so just a little impression of tails just like that I'm going to wrap over top of those until I get to uh, where the thorax area is clip off the excess now I find that it's critical right here before we dub the abdomen. Uh, I really like for us to go back in here and um, taper the underbody. Um, that way, whenever we go to use our super fine dubbing, it, we're already going to have the taper built in. And all we simply have to do is um, use a very thin noodle of dubbing. And it's gonna it's gonna taper the body the way that we the way that we're after. So, and th again, this is a floating nymph, and uh, it's great to put behind behind your dry fly during the hatch. Um, I'm gonna take my Raymond Rump Sulfur Orange. Um, you could use yellow here, but I'm gonna use this Sulfur Orange color. And uh, you see, I'm just taking wisps of dubbing. You know, not not very much at all and uh, I'm gonna start to wind that onto my thread here just wisps of dubbing onto the thread and uh, form a very very slender dubbing noodle here okay just uh, about two inches long is what I want and we can always go back in and add more later should we need it but I like to start with it all more or less being the same um, same thickness throughout. So we come in here and and just wrap our dubbing on and there's our taper. Okay. And so the, the taper of the mayfly is already in place. And now we're going to take um, a brown CDC feather for our wing cover. And um, these do not, this does not have to be your best CDC feather. Um, you can take any uh, any of your you know dry fly rejects so to speak and um, and tie it in um, because it's just we're we're really using it just as a wing case and it's going to help float the fly but um, doesn't have to look you know the best like like the ones you want to use for your comparisons and so forth. Um, I'm going to tie in the tips here. Okay, wrap back over them, and we know where the the thorax area is so that's where I want my my wing buds to be okay now 
it's time to add a little bit more dubbing from my dubbing wisps okay just very very little dubbing um, that's you know one of the hardest things I think um, tires have uh, trouble with learning is, is how much dubbing do I use and um, it's it's definitely a skill that, that takes some practice so I put some more dubbing on here and uh, I just want to build up my thorax just a little bit this little sulfur emerger okay you can see that there now uh, what we need is some more mallard flank now I have uh, for the legs I have a, a separate mallard flank that, I, that I'm working on and you can see what I've been uh, cutting off of four legs and uh, I'll just V out the tip pull the legs forward and uh, and tie them in and uh, this allows me to keep using this one feather over and over again for legs so uh, I think this <clears throat> this looks good right here um, just a few legs just uh, stroke them down here get the the number that I want that looks good to me that V okay, and, and I'm gonna turn it slightly so you can see uh, what I'm doing on the top of the hook okay uh, you really want to pinch down on the V and, and keep these fibers on either side of the hook so that when you come around here with your thread uh, and start binding it down with you know three four wraps that that your legs aren't going to move on you that okay the, the one side of the legs are on the one side and the other sides on the other side just where we put them okay and kind of press down make sure that they're gonna you know stay in place check for length um, I'm okay with the, the legs being there, but I'll make them a little bit shorter just by pulling, okay, coaxing the fibers on either side of the hook here. Okay, and uh, I can go ahead and trim out this excess feather. And uh, now go ahead and, and pull my, um, my CDC feather forward for my, my little wing buds. And this is a great little pattern. Um, you definitely need to have some of these in your box. Um, there's no reason, you know, you, you can see when I've tied this fly here that I've, uh, that I've not crowded the eye at all. And uh, that's one thing, you know, people that tie a lot of uh, beadhead flies and, and don't tie a lot of non-beaded, like nymphs, um, they'll end up crowding the eye a lot. And uh, so it's, it's always, you know, it's a constant constant thing to get better at not crowding the eye. Um, just tidy up right here and uh, build a little thread head with a whip finisher. So this is a great little great little pattern to keep behind your dry. Um, fish it right in the surface film. That CDC is going to help keep it there. Real light barbless hook and um, we have all the materials uh, for this fly at the shop, and uh, you'll find some in the bin. Happy time!